Welcome back to Explaining Everything, the channel where we dive into the stories and mysteries behind everyday things. Today's question comes from one of our curious viewers, Drill Sergeant Donkey 07. Thanks for the suggestion, Drill Sergeant Donkey. You asked, how do oil pump jacks work? Ah, yes, those weird head-bobbing metal contraptions that look like robots trying to drink from the Earth's straw. You've seen them in the middle of nowhere, just nodding away like they're listening to some smooth country music only they can hear. But what are they doing? Are they alive? Let's break down how these stubborn machines actually suck up oil from deep underground. Right here on Explaining Everything. First off, let's clear something up. Oil doesn't just squirt out of the ground like a busted ketchup bottle. That's movie magic. In real life, most oil is under pressure, but not enough pressure to fly to the surface and do a little dance. Sometimes, oil fields start out with enough underground pressure to push oil up naturally, but that pressure drops fast. And when it does, you need help, mechanical help. Enter the pump jack, Earth's most reliable and overly dramatic oil sucker. It's basically a glorified straw with a robot doing curls on top of it. And that robot is very, very committed to its job. A pump jack looks like something you'd see in a steampunk farm simulator. Part horse, part crane, part misunderstood transformer. Let's break down its anatomy. Up top, you've got the walking beam, that long teeter-totter looking thing that rocks back and forth like it's bored at a family reunion. On one end of that beam is the horse head or donkey head, which yes, looks like a robot horse nodding aggressively. This part connects to a polished rod which goes up and down through a guide called a stuffing box. I swear I'm not making this up. Straight into the well. At the other end of the beam is a set of counterweights powered by a crank and motor. This is the part that actually does the lifting because oil is lazy and it's not going to come up on its own. So what you're watching when a pump jack goes up and down that's a highly choreographed metal ballet between gravity, levers, and stubbornness. So, what's happening underneath the ground while the top is headbanging like it's at a Metallica concert? Way down below is the downhole pump. Think of it like a syringe, but reversed. The rod that moves up and down is connected to a plunger inside a barrel. There are two valves involved, one at the bottom, called the standing valve, and one inside the plunger, the traveling valve. These valves are very picky. They only open when it's their time to shine. When the rod pulls up, the traveling valve closes and the standing valve opens, pulling oil into the barrel. When the rod pushes down, the standing valve closes and the traveling valve opens, pushing that oil up the pipe. Rinse, repeat, forever, or until the field runs dry, or until the pump jack gets promoted to middle management. You may have noticed that pump jacks are not in a hurry. They're basically the sloths of the industrial world. That's because moving too fast would cause a bunch of problems. Spilled oil, damaged parts, grumpy engineers. And remember, the oil is being pulled from hundreds or even thousands of feet underground. This isn't a shot of espresso. It's more like siphoning honey through a straw, using gravity, while wearing oven mitts. So the slow, rhythmic motion is actually a brilliant compromise between physics and patience. 
It's like a yoga session for machines. Low impact, but incredibly effective. Also, fun fact, that slow speed means pump jacks are surprisingly energy efficient. They might look like they're working out all day, but they're basically on an energy-saving treadmill. Now, here's the best part. Most pump jacks are automated. No humans pulling levers or shouting yee-haw, though that would be awesome. An electric motor or gas engine powers the whole thing. It turns a crank, which lifts the counterweights, which rocks the beam, which moves the rod, which activates the plunger, which moves the oil. It's a chain reaction of mechanical trust, all set up to just run on its own for years. Some are even equipped with sensors and monitors that call for help when something breaks, kind of like a needy Roomba that's also an oil tycoon. Basically, we've created cowboy robots who never sleep, never complain, and only care about pulling liquid dinosaur goo out of the earth. Respect! They're rhythmic, stubborn machines that use a seesawing beam and a deep earth plunger system to lift oil from underground reservoirs. Powered by motors and balanced with counterweights, they slowly and methodically pump oil up to the surface using centuries-old mechanical principles. They're not pretty, they're not flashy, but they're one of the most reliable workhorses in industrial history. Like a robotic donkey on a mission, they nod, bob, and never stop until the job's done or until something breaks and someone named Earl has to fix it. Next time you pass one in the middle of nowhere, give it a little nod back. It's working hard, and honestly, it deserves it. If you enjoyed this, give us a like, subscribe for more Brain Fuel, and drop your weirdest everyday questions in the comments. Also, if you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for tuning in and join us next time here in the channel that answers all the why, what, who, where, and how questions you've always wondered about here on Explaining Everything.